Hello, this is John Wolchek. I am the project leader for the Mirage Induction Rethermalizer project. Uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit about how we developed this product uh, to make it very valuable for users in the field. In talking with people there were some key things that they would really like with a warmer. Uh, the first thing that they came to us with was that they wanted no water. So what we did is we used induction technology as a means to use no water. Inside the unit, there is going to be what's called a 3D induction coil. Uh, the 3D coil is basically two segments on the side and then one on the bottom. That will give it the same type of uh, heat profile as you would get if you had uh, a steam bath. So you get the very even heat, but then again you get no water. Uh, again, I talked about it before, uh, the concern was durability, obviously with any type of a commercial product. So we made choices of going with this heavy duty polycarbonate uh, so that it would be durable, understanding that people drop these insets in when they use them. And uh, so it's polycarbonate, it's a very strong product and it's, it's truly a commercial product, it's not a consumer product converted. If you think about it, most standard warmers, you're just going to have a rotary knob, okay? And you set the rotary knob at some estimated level and then that gives you some estimated temperature of the soup itself. Uh, what we wanted is something much more accurate. And so we put in the digital temperature control. The temperature control goes from 100 to 190 F. Uh, the research that we did is we found out the temperatures used for warming at the lowest levels uh, and then also for retherming at higher levels than the NSF requirement of 165. So those are the temperature ranges that we put into the unit controlled by the one degree Fahrenheit or one degree Celsius. Uh, it's one of the things that first jumps out at users that they can actually see that and they can set it to a specific control uh, versus trying to estimate it with a rotary knob. Regarding temperature, the other thing that's important uh, beyond being able to just set that is the ability to maintain proper temperatures. Uh, through our research, what we found was that most people uh, would, turn, would tend to turn the temperatures up too high. Okay, they want to maintain food safety. Uh, they actually turn it higher than what the actual temperature should be to both maintain food safety and keep a high quality product. In addition to the food quality, our research also found that there was a lot of waste. Okay, uh, in an inset with 11 quarts, you might have one third of it at the bottom of the inset. If that is overheated, then that will literally uh, be ruined and, and typically be tossed at the end of the day. Uh, in talking with operators, the other byproduct of that is by not cooking that last food in to the point where you can't serve it, you're also not cooking it into the inset, which is a big labor savings uh, because then you're not cleaning it out at the end of the day. You can save 20 minutes to half an hour. The other part about the induction that they really thought was important was the fact that it heats immediately. A lot of times users will put the inset in and they'll forget to preheat a conventional warmer. This, the heat goes to it immediately. So again, they see a labor savings at the beginning of the day. The Mirage Induction Rethermalizer uses 800 watts of power. That means you can put two of them into a dedicated 20 amp circuit. It only uses 800 watts of power when it's in the retherm mode. When you're just warming or hot food holding, when you put 150 degrees, for instance, product in there and hold it at 150, it only uses 100 watts of power. So it's very efficient, uses very little power uh, because again the induction is directly heating the vessel that the food's in versus heating a water bath that's actually heating the food. Mirage induction rethermalizers do require an induction ready inset. Induction ready insets are specially marked so that when they're nested with non-induction ready insets you can actually see the difference. Uh, they're labeled and they have this ridge that goes through the top band so you can easily see which one is the induction ready inset. Valrath designs and manufactures all of our induction products including the Mirage Induction Rethermalizer. That allows us to, to maintain very tight uh, tolerances and very tight quality control to give you the best products possible in the commercial food service industry. And it allows us to come up with highly creative, innovative products uh, like the Mirage Induction Rethermalizer. For more details, just go to www.valrath.com.